But yeah, if you don't mind recording it, that'd be great. I'm getting, since since that new update, I'm getting this message here. I don't know if mm -hmm. this never used to be a thing on, on the second page. Yeah. And this is just a screenshot. I could open up my actual Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. But yeah. I'm getting this. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one other thing I took a screenshot for. Like, th this was never used to be. And it's kind of throwing me off. I, I feel like it's not as crisp as I was. And I know the last conversation we had, um, it said something you had mentioned like reintegrating the pixel into the web pages. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I do that from here, click on view foot view pixel. Things just look different and I'm not that familiar with it. I, I didn't want to really kind of fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. For sure. Um, did you create that custom conversion first of all, or is that just a, yeah, let me, let me pull a, up a uh, Facebook, Facebook default one. Um, no, that was, um, that was like pick your settings. And then, uh, let me just. So that's the, the pixel, Facebook. and yeah. then the the custom conversion event. Let me just show um, you what what I have here. Where you go, edit. Yeah, go. Yeah, go into that one. Uh, oh, that was the wrong ad. Hold on. This one. This is the most recent one I, I ran. I think I put together yesterday. Yeah. So. Yeah. I retargeted. Um, so this is the first page. There's not, not too much really going on here. This one. Um, yeah, I have, I have, you know, Contact retargeted this, groups look -alike. here. Like, okay. So the, so the look alike, the look alike, first of all, like, let's just, we'll just go line by line. Like, um, but, but the look alike, if you don't have a hundred conversions, in a specific custom audience that look alike isn't um isn't really but you it's a contact list okay so how many leads were on that list so so the now you said is it conversions or or targets it, it's conversions because okay yeah that that's that's really that's really what you're when you're creating a a, a look alike audience it's based on a custom audience but the custom audience the effective one to base it on is, 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 is a conversion. So for example, a, an opt-in, when I go to your landing page and I opt in and I go to a thank you page, that's a conversion. Yeah. So that, that thank you page is your custom audience. That custom audience from the thank you page is what you turn around and create a lookalike around that's on an opt-in, but if it's a purchase, so you take me to your page, I purchase, I put in my credit card, I actually purchase, I then go to a thank you for purchasing page. That page, that thank you for purchasing confirmation page, that's a custom audience, but that custom audience is, my, is, is what I turn into a lookalike audience. So it's a conversion. The lookalike audience is based on the custom audience, but the custom audience was a conversion. Meaning, not, not necessarily a custom conversion, it was a quote unquote conversion. Meaning it was an opt-in or a sell. Okay, so. My, I guess my understanding of like, it asked me what I want to do, mm -hmm. you know, it has this and it's like, you know, you have the three columns and it's like views, traffic, lead generation, and the far right ones, conversion. Conversion. So yeah. I had clicked on that. I yeah. thought that was, okay, I, I'm going to retarget these people that have either viewed my content or whatever the case is. Like these are different lists. Like this is a thousand, this is a thousand. This is like 24,000. I think this is 64,000, something like that. So okay, okay. they're all PTs and I'm, I'm marketing a product. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to kind of get everybody who's looked at my content. I'm going to hit conversions on this guy and yeah. then create the ad. Am I looking at that wrong? Um, yes, but no. Okay. Y yes and no. Yes and no. You're just slightly off. You're slightly off. And, and the slightly off is just is creating the custom conversion. So that's why that dot is yellow. Okay. It should be green. Yes. So, so we need to create, watch, go ahead and X that out, X out landing page view, X that out and see if you can see the drop down. see if there's anything green. If there's anything green, so you got view content and purchase. Those are the default, but we want to create our own. We want to create our own custom conversion. Well, so, what do you mean these are the default? What do, what do you mean by that, that? That, that? Those are the default terms that Facebook has in there, but, but we want to create our own. Like Facebook, they know your view content is based on your pixel. And then that purchase is also based on, on the pixel, but we just want to be more specific. We want to customize it. We want to be more specific. We want to tell Facebook exactly what the URL is for a purchase. 
because they're 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 guessing what the purchase is right now. They're just they're just guessing unless you unless you um unless you you created a standard event. So if you created a standard event which would have went into the pixel code, then that's what it's reading. So when you hit that drop down and there's that green dot, then then that green dot is because you set up a standard event and that piece of code went into the pixel. But if you didn't do that, then it's just it's just by default. It's just a default uh, uh, standard event, which which I don't like. Let's just create our own. So let's create our okay. own custom conversion, and I'll show you how to do yeah. it right now. And and question: It's saying Brandon Cruz's pixel. When I don't know if you remember when we went over, I have the Doctor Cruz account. Well, I guess this is it because it's eleven eleven sixty six, which is the numbers that we needed. So yeah. forget it. All right. See, so you'll have you'll have a name. You can customize the name for the pixel and you can customize the name for the actual ad account. Okay. So your ad account is doctor and then, mm. and then the pixel is Brandon Cruz. I like to keep it all the same. So okay. we'll go back in there and we'll rename it okay. um, just to keep it consistent. But, yep. um, but yeah, that's what's probably throwing you off. Okay. Sounds good. So, so let's create a custom conversion. Let, let, well, let's do that. So here's real quick. I'm sorry. Not to cut you off. Yeah. No, it no, it says view content 519 events received. What, yeah. Where are they getting that number from? From your pixel. So if anything, it's, it's your, it's your pixel uh, uh, gathering data. And, and, and that's a general data. That's, that's view content. That's on all pages. But that's I've had more than 519 views and interactions and stuff. Yeah. That's on all pages. But when we go into running this ad, we have to be very specific on which page. Okay. So view content is general. That's 519. That's counting people that landed on your landing page, people that landed on your freaking thank you page, people who landed on your add to cart page, people who went to your checkout page. Like that's counting everything, which yeah, we don't I'm, want. I'm saying if that's the case, if it's all encompassing, that number is low. Like I go on Kartra and I have, you know, I can, you know, you can look at each page and I have, you know, thousand views for a minute and 45 seconds. Like I'm looking at the analytics of the, mm -hmm, on how mm -hmm. people are and it's way over 519. But see, those are not, those are not, those, and that's why it's categorized very different. That's why I don't use that, dude. That's why okay. I, we, we're going to create our own, like, so we can okay. be very specific because that's very gotcha. general. And yeah, gotcha. that number is off according to you for sure. So I don't even want to bank on that. I don't even want to choose that damn option. Okay. Like I'm going to create my own damn option and, and run with that, you know? Okay. So, yeah. so let's do that. And, and what we're going to need for that is we're going to need the confirmation page. So whether we're optimizing for an opt-in, we need someone to go to the landing page, opt-in, go to a thank you page. We need that thank you page. Or whether I'm trying to make a sell, I need to go to that confirmation page. Thank you for purchasing. We need to pull up that page. So either one, it's either... It's either one. Let's pull up that page inside of Kartra. So the one for this ad is open it up. No, no, just just grab the link. So not not the landing page, the actual confirmation page. So is that is that the confirmation page that? Oh no, because so there's this one, and this has copy, and it bounces to the purchase page. So you want the purchase page or like the thank you page? I want the thank you for purchasing page. So, and what you want to do too, bro, is you want to customize these links. So that MTMTY, change that shit. Or I know, I'm so sorry. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, gotcha. M manual therapy. I, okay, I thought it was the D default. Thank you, yeah. I thought it was the default link from Kartra. I was like, damn, we need to change that. Okay, cool. So that's a abbreviation for that. Perfect. Okay, so open up that page real quick. So that's the thank you for purchasing? Yes. Okay, open it up in, in a separate window. You don't got to edit it. You could just um, get the link. Oh, oh you just want to like, oh, I already got the yeah. link. I, I pulled that up. Okay. I thought you wanted okay. me to like actually open it, open it. So yeah, that's, no, that's just, that. just just go to the actual, okay, yeah, this is the page we need. Yeah, just, just open up the tab and just open up the page. Not edit, just pull it up as if you were going to, open it up, like just open it up in a new, in a new tab. So click the three dots and get link. Yeah. Get, and get coder link. Yeah. And then just grab that link and then open it up um, at the top. Oh, you want like an actual, I got you. My yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Open it up over, over here somewhere. Perfect. Okay, cool. So the custom conversion is based around this page right here. This is where we're trying to get people. So, so 
before people get here, is it just one landing page or do they go through a funnel and then they get here? So yeah, I, I've done two different ones. I had like my initial target, which kind of goes to, I guess this would be my, my main page okay. where I'm selling it. And okay. then I also have, um, or I'm trying. So, so I go to that page and then I click that button and then where do I go? You, to purchase it. That's a, that's a direct page to purchase it. Okay. Or okay. I have this one here, which is like, I have warm MTM, which is like warm traffic. So and again, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this right to retarget them. Then they'll read this stuff. If they click learn more, it goes back to that main selling page. Okay, pull up the pull up the uh, that sales page, and that sales page that's also going to be set up as a custom conversion. We're gonna because that's an add to cart. If I go to your landing page and I click on that button and it takes them to a sales page, that is the cart. So, yeah, so if they go here, get access, get access. I have a pop up window that says, okay, like give me your information. Okay, so it doesn't take me to another page. No, no, I have the pop up. I I just I like the pop up better. Okay, okay, um, okay. But do you recommend it going to another page, like an extra step? Yes. It gave me the it gave me the choice of a page or a pop up. Yes. Um, now you don't have to do it right now, right now. But 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 yes, and and I'm going to tell you why. People that come here, this is the landing page, right? The first yeah. page. People that come here again, we're creating a custom audience. You're retargeting people here. The other page, okay, that's fine. But, but it's really people we're, re, we're retargeting these folks, like people that land right. here, that's a custom audience. If they don't click on that button or even if they click on it, but they don't buy, that's my audience. Like, I don't care about the right. other page. It's this right. audience. Like this is the yeah. custom audience, but mm -hmm. here's why, here's, here's why the sales page is so important because as people come here and they click on that button, I need to take them to a whole separate page because I need my pixel on that page. And, and those are people, that's another custom audience. Those are people who added to cart. So, so someone that clicks that button is very different than someone that comes here and doesn't click the button. And I need to know that. Facebook needs to know that. Facebook wants to know that. You want to know that. Because as I click that button and I open up a whole full-blown sales page, it has its own URL. And on that page is the, is, is, is the price, is the offer, the services, what I get. It's a full-blown that needs to be its own page. So, so again, that link would be a custom audience. That link would be a custom conversion. And, so, then, and then after I go to that page, I click, I purchase, then, then the pop-up comes up where I can put in my credit card number. You could put the pop-up on that one. Then the pop-up comes up, I put my credit card number, then I'm taken to that thank you for ordering confirmation page. So it's two custom conversions, two custom audiences, the sales page and the thank you for ordering page. That's so then, the landing page. So then what, if I'm understanding you correctly, I would make this the first page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make that the sales page. But this is my sales page. They click learn more. It then brings no, they them click, to. They click, they click, they click buy now. All right, so they, changes they, to buy now. Yeah, they click buy now. And right here is where the pop up, the overlay checkout pops up. Does okay, so, so you, because. I think we're saying the same thing. It's just what page do I make the, the, the landing page and then goes to the other one. The landing page um, is, is the, is the other one. The first one, this right here is the sales page where I buy now. Once I buy now, then can, I'm can taking I make to the, the third can page. I make this the landing page and then the other page, the buy now page you can, you can. Cause just by the copy, the way it is, okay, this yeah, would be more sure. of a landing page and then the other for one's sure. more of a copy. For sure. it, that, that one goes more into detail what you're getting and the explanation yeah, everything. Perfect. So I'll, I'll make this the landing page then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the landing page, the sales page, and then the thank you for ordering page. Yes. Okay. Three pages. Right. So you, you you like to really just really separate it out. Uh, it, each yeah, time. dude. Bec all because of Facebook ads. All because of Facebook ads. Because that that gives us that third URL. That third okay. URL is the sales page URL. Okay. And, 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 and we want to be able to track that with our pixel and, and again, create a custom audience and create a custom conversion. So let me pull. Because, because people that land there, people that land there, I come to your landing page, I click on the button, I go to the sales page, people that land there, that's a whole different ad. Mm -hmm. Right? You're going to be able to retarget me. Hey guys, this is Dr. Brandon. This is Dr. Cruz. I noticed you were on our sales page and getting ready to check out 
but for whatever reason you didn't, let me tell you a little bit more about what we offer and our services and some testimony, right? That's a completely different pitch. Correct. To a completely different audience. Correct. Right? So we don't know that if they just go to one page, the first page and click the button. I got you. So you're really just like honing into this like a sniper. Yes, bro. Yes. Yes. All right. So we'll make, this is my landing page. Then should I change learn more or buy now to this? This would be learn more and go to this page and this is here where they're going to buy. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, copy learn more or buy now here. I would, I would probably go learn more, learn more, okay. learn more. And all these, will, are, I, sh I need to change the link to then tie into here. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. And then from here, you're okay with the pop-up because now this is the, this is the people who are serious. This is like the checkout page. Yes. The that's page. the checkout page. Okay. That's the checkout page. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. And, all right. And, so. And, no, what go ahead. I don't want to, I don't want to throw this. No, I was just going to say, so, so what, I guess going back to Facebook, just then what, okay. what are we so, making? But, yeah. So here's what we got to do. So, so now click on, so now we have the three pages open, click on those dots to the left. Let's get out of here. Let's X out. Let's X out of here. Just hit the X in the top left. In well, the very like top left, page? very top left of this page oh, right here. The, yeah. This, yeah. Let's X out of that. And then just hit those, hit those blue one selected, one selected X out of those as well, or just uncheck the box. You can do that too. Yeah, X out, X out, perfect. Okay, so now let's click on those dots in the top left and let's click on events manager. Okay, cool. So we're gonna set up, we're gonna set up a, um, a couple custom audiences and we're gonna set up a, custom, a, a couple custom conversions. So let's click on the triangle to the left. The red one? The, the uh, blue triangle to the left, right there. And then custom conversions. Okay, cool. So this right here is what we got to, is what we got to. So, so if anything, let's see, are these, are these, are these old? Are these, um, yeah, 564, even, get rid of these ones. Just, yeah, let's just get rid of these ones. Let's, um, yeah, hit that and then just hit, um, you should be able to hit, you should be able to hit, man, yeah, see if you can hit manage and then delete. Actually, yeah, to the right of rename. Yeah, hit the drop down to the, the arrow, delete. Yeah, so let's delete these two and let's just create two new ones. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now let's let's create custom conversion. And then what we're gonna do is go back to the let's go to the um to the sales page, which would be the second page. Yeah, so this one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click the URL, double click the URL, and all you want, you don't want the HTTPS or okay. the semicolons, you want everything after the P. So pursue PT to the right. So everything, grab that whole entire URL at the top. Okay, put it in here? Yeah, paste it in right there. Yeah, everything but the, yeah, there you go, perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's name it. This right here is add to cart. This is not right there at the very top, the name. Name your conversion. So this is, this is pursue PT ATC. Or whatever you want to do, yeah, MTM, yeah, whatever, um, and then and then and then the, you can you can abbreviate it with with ATC. That's add to cart. Okay, so so that's the right pixel, and then hit the um, yeah all URL traffic. That's fine. Hit the select your own category, and you're gonna look for add to cart. See, so 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 previously, we clicked on the drop down, and Facebook showed us the green dots for view content and um, purchase. But here, we're, we're, we're creating our own. So we're gonna create add to cart, and then, yeah. and then you're gonna paste in the URL right there, add URL keyword, paste it in, and you're gonna always make sure you go with the drop down. So paste it in, and then hit the drop down. Hit that drop down, click the drop, there you go. And then you can create. So this right here is your add to cart. Hit the blue button, create. Okay. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to hit done and then we're going to go to the page. So go back, open up the tab, go to that page and then refresh. Yeah, let's refresh it. So Facebook reads it and then let's go back to the ads manager and hit refresh 
on that end, and then that dot, the inactive, it should turn to active. So let's refresh this page. Bam. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for, um, for the thank you for purchasing. So this one will be MTM uh, purchase or new client or whatever the hell you want to name it. Now I would name it purchase. Purchase, okay. Yeah, MTM purchase. Yeah, okay. perfect. And then yeah. select your own category. Yeah, go ahead and grab the link, okay. And then um, all URL traffic, that's fine. Or you can, you can even hit it down. You can hit it down to purchase. So go to, hit that all URL traffic. Did yeah. it give you the option? Yeah, you could, you, could go, you could go purchase, go purchase. And then you're gonna, and then that way you don't have to choose it below. So you just choose it right there, that's fine. And then same thing, take out the HTTP? Yes. Earn, earn yes, take out, take out all of that. Actually, you know what? Go back, hit that purchase drop down, go back to all URL traffic. Go back to all URL traffic and then just hit the drop down. Select your own category. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one instead. And then and then hit hit the recommended and then find purchase right here. Let's just do it that way, because this is the way I'm used to doing it. All right, no problem. Yeah, find purchase and then and then paste in that URL. And then just hit that drop down, right? Yeah, but get rid of the um get rid of the of the https so that automatically popped up that, it does it does yeah you're okay. right you're right so just hit the drop down yeah that's fine. okay no problem yeah hit the drop down good yeah you're good perfect okay. create okay cool and then do the same thing go back to the page refresh it and then come back over here refresh it Okay, cool. So now, now as you go in to set up the ad and you get to the second step, the ad set level, this you'll hit that drop down and now you'll see these two. Now you could test these two. This is where you'll, your split testing will come in. One, one ad you can run to the purchase conversion. The other ad you can run to the add to cart and see where your main ones are going to come from. But really you're optimizing for purchase. It's really the purchase, but you want to definitely build up the pixel on the add to cart. Um, yeah. for sure. And, and then also you want to create an audience. So let's, let's create two custom audiences around those same two links. That's super important if you don't have that already. So go to audiences. So I don't know if you have it here already, but. So these are other audiences I I've had from other previous ads I've made. Okay. Like this was my my biggest one right okay. here. Four thousand I I had off of that. Sixty six. Okay, good, good. So, so now just create create audiences around the purchase and um and the add to cart. So am I going because, here? Yeah, create audience, custom audience. And and the reason why this is so important, bro. The reason why this is so important is because it's good to have a custom audience around the add to cart. So you can turn that into a lookalike audience. You need to create the, the, the custom audience first. Facebook has to get at least 100 hits on that ATC page. And then you could turn around and create a lookalike audience. So Facebook will go and find people. They'll simply clone that ATC audience. So, so but it has to hit 100 hits first. Um, and, then, and then Facebook can clone it and find you more people, find you literally millions more that you're not hitting and you're targeting. They'll find you millions more that fit that same um, 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 blueprint of that individual, of the people who, who add, add it to cart. That's, that's, that's the reason for, for all this with the add to cart page. But the reason why this custom audience is so important for the purchase page is because you need to start excluding these from seeing your ads. So as people purchase, hope, I hope they're not seeing your ads right now. You know what I mean? Because they yeah. probably are. You need to exclude that audience. Okay. Okay. I, I get what you're saying, yeah. Right. So, so let's hit website, hit website. And then, um, and then this is pretty much the same type of setup. So um, all website visitors, you, you're going to hit the drop down and you're going to, you're going to go to contains. So hit that drop down all website visitors. Yeah. And then go down to or specific, yeah, specific pages and then paste. Yeah. Contains and then, and then paste in that URL, the URL for the, for the add to cart, the sales page, and then the URL for the, the thank you for purchasing page. 
Yeah, so we're creating, creating two different ones there. Yeah. And then again, it's 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 everything but the the HTTPS and the semicolon and the forward forward the for the two forward slash. So take out. Oh, take out. I'm gonna have to when I copy, I have to copy. Yeah, just that. copy. The, yeah. Bam! Right there. So question. Well, hold on, let me let me enter integrate this. So this um, press OK or do I have to you add? Can, no, you can turn that thirty to one eighty. Turn that 30 to 180. 180 is the max. Yeah. Um, turn it to 180 and then name the audience. This is um this is this is add to cart, right? This is the sales yeah, page. Yeah, this is add to cart. Yeah, yeah. So create that audience. Just name it. Name this is name off the, the landing page first, not the purchase page. This is the um they they clicked on it and then they, they, they clicked on the ad. This. They can't purchase from here. Okay. This, um, to the other one. This is they click on the Facebook learn more and they come here. Yeah. Okay. So this needs to be page, page, page website viewers or website visitors. Yeah. But be, you know, be very specific on which page, you know, um, MT. Yeah. Perfect. Website visitors. So this is an audience, bro, that you should have freaking created a long time ago. These are people here that you need to keep retargeting. And, and here's how we get this specific because there's many people that are going to fit the criteria of this. So for example, one person that lands on the page, that's a website visitor. Another person is someone who lands on the page, clicks on buy now, goes to the add to cart and thinks about buying. That's also a website visitor. And then the third person who's also a website visitor is someone who purchases because they hit the web, they hit the landing page, they go to the sales page, they buy, they go to the thank you page. That's also a website visitor. So we have to be very specific with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to exclude. So these are specific. These are people who only visited the website. They did not click on the button to land on the sales page and they for sure haven't purchased. So we're going to exclude. So hit the website, hit go to specific. And now these two, we're going to paste in the sales page and the thank you for purchasing page. So my sales page, this page, I have integrated into my website. So technically that would be a different URL, correct? Yep. So I'd have to use that URL, not the Karcher URL. No, this is, this is a URL right here. This even, is, this is. even if I have it, like if I go to my main page here. So if people come to my website, mm -hmm. I have that page as my website page here, that URL is going to be different. Yeah, that, that's a different URL. So but, we, then, but, but at the same time, why don't you include that link too? Well, so you can include both of them. Or in this case, exclude. We can exclude both of them. We want to exclude anyone who landed on this page. But I, I get what so And there are two I different links and, and that's fine. When I go back to it, I'm going to link it to my website page mm -hmm. and not the Karcher page, and that's more so for branding purposes. See my fact on it, it's mine. So that's, that's don't fine. include this one, or you, is that not needed because that one's really not being used on the back end? Wh whichever one, you could use both of them. Why don't you just, for the hell of it, put both of them in there? Okay. Yeah, just to be safe, just put both of them in there. So both of those links are going to go in there, and the third link, which is the thank you for purchasing link. Gotcha, because I, I, I get what you're saying. So I never knew you couldn't put the HTPPS in there. You can. It's just not necessary. Oh, okay. um, it's not. It's yeah. It's not necessary um, at all. It's just the URL because sometimes that HTTPS sometimes is HTTP. So you never know where this website may end up someday. But as long yeah. as it's the same URL, um, you're fine. All right, I got too much shit open. Uh, where would my audiences go? Shit. So here, here's your here. Yeah, you could just um, create a new one. Create audience. Yeah, it should have already been open, huh? But it's all good. We'll just do it again. Okay, so we're gonna. Yeah, this is the exclude. There's three links that should go there. 
and then um and then add back the other one yeah add back the other one um question did you finish your uh, your facebook ads course bro i haven't what i what i've been doing is i've been like physically manually doing it like i have i have the entire like blueprint where i just i'm selling it at the same price point which is either 997 or 500 but rather mm -hmm. than it just being video like i'm i broke it down to five coaching calls and people are buying that every damn day so okay. it's but it, but it's time consuming right like it's taking all yeah. my time on these coaching that. calls but at the yeah. same time i'm um what it, what it's what it's really allowing me to do that's why i'm thankful because what it's allowing me to do is really solidify the offer and really solidify the the, the product right because i'm i'm actually getting on these calls I'm, I'm going through the entire coaching myself and i'm finding out what's needed in the damn call and what's not which will help me put that into the actual course and then create the videos based on what i'm experiencing you know what i mean yeah so so going through it one-on-one -on -one coaching is is step one and then you know solidifying that and then turning it into a course is is, is where i'm at but yeah it's 99 percent there all i gotta do is, is record a handful of videos but what i'm saying is those videos i've been doing live with people yeah you know i know have you been putting those on, on facebook too or no no on, on youtube really. yeah no because I what i end up doing with that is i is that what you meant putting them on youtube yeah, I meant YouTube. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, no, because what I really end up doing with that is, is I re I record it, but I give it to the I give it to the client. You know what I mean? So I I make that part of the entire package, and and I allow that you know I make that you know justify the price of what I'm even charging because they get the recording with it. You know? Yeah. So it's and it's and it's exclusive. I just give it to them. I got you. But this is one this is one freaking part of the course, bro. So, yeah, yeah, I can tell. This is but, this but is you, it. You know, this is, this is a big, big part of it, but you're already my, you're my boy. You're already a past client. So that's why I'm just freaking hooking you up and, and spending time with you. So yeah, appreciate it. it's all good. Um, but this is a big part. Yeah. Custom audiences this is what everybody forgets, man. Everybody forgets custom audiences and then everybody forgets a custom conversion, but it's, it's being specific with this, right? So yeah, like I made it, but I didn't make it like this. I mean, this is, this is way different than what I was yeah. even attempting. Like, yeah, I was totally for sure. We're going to name it. So, so again, go back down to the name and let's be very specific with that name website, MT, what was it? MTM website visitors only. Like these are only website visitors or you could put only what, whatever. Yeah. Like however the hell you want to word it. You can always change the, the wording as well, but very specific. They haven't hit a sales page. They haven't hit a thank you for purchasing page. They've only hit the web page, the landing page. This right here, bro, is an audience that you will always retarget. Okay. You'll always retarget this. You'll always include it in the targeting. So this is done now. What's that? So this is done now. Yeah, this is done. So hit the blue so one. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the people who've actually bought, uh, landed on the, the checkout page and then the people who've actually purchased it uh, for the thank you page. Yeah. Yes. We're going to create the, the, the sales page. So add to cart, the sales page, that's going to be a custom audience. Correct. And, and, and what you're going to do with those people is you're not, you can always retarget them, but then now you can even get more laser, different, different ad to them. Yeah, bro. That's a whole yeah. different ad. That's yeah. a whole different ad. Maybe throw them people a discount. Hey guys, this is Dr. Cruz. I noticed you run the sales page. Hey, a lot of people are freaking struggling. We want to help out as many people as we can. So what we're doing for a limited time only is we're giving you 20% off of our course. Here's the discount code, but you must purchase in the next 24 hours, right? You could start throwing out videos like that, bro. And, and targeting that specific audience. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and then, and then you would clone, you would clone your sales page. Now that would be retargeting under traffic. What you've been doing is traffic from the beginning. It's not traffic from the beginning. It's conversions. When we retarget, it's traffic. So for example, what I would do on the retargeting of a custom audience who went to the sales page, the add to cart, that's a traffic campaign. And you're retargeting that audience mm -hmm. with traffic. And what I would do is I would clone your existing sales page, clone it. And now we have a clone. We have a separate page for those traffic retargeters only. And as they click on, 
learn more. As they see the ad, they click on learn more. You're offering them a discount. As they click on learn more, they go straight. It's a traffic ad. They go straight to the sales page. And now on the sales page, there's a countdown clock. Because you said that in the ad, you said in the video for 24 hours only for the next 12 hours, we're going to give you 25% off, but you must click now, go over to our sales page and place your order, finish checking out. And on that, I would for sure have a countdown clock to fit the promotion. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. and then once that countdown clock ends, it expires and it goes to a, a, a third page. It goes to a separate Karcher page where the offer expired. It's a full page of offer expired. And then you create a custom audience around all those people too. So oh, question with that though, because a lot of, you know, the Karcher pages aren't linked unless you set them up into the website. They're not there. They're just landing pages off of an ad. So if somebody clicks on it, sees it, contemplates it, and then clicks away, you know, cause they decide to scroll up on Facebook mm -hmm. um, or on their app. Now, where would they go back? And then let's say three hours later, like, you know what? I do want to buy that. Let me go back. Where, where are they going back to? Well, that's a good well, question. I guess, well, I guess with Kartra, you could have that code and when, in the pop-up, they have the code from before. If they remember it, they could type it in, right? Yes. Uh, yes. But, but at the same time, as you're running your, your retargeting ads, as yeah. you're running that ad, while, when you set up the ad, you can, you can set up the amount of times that, 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 that they see it. So I would, I wouldn't even worry yeah. about that because I would hit them with the ad. I would, I would make sure that they're seeing my ad freaking five times a day. How do you do that? I didn't know you could. As, yeah. As now. you, as you go into the ad set, the second step, there's a setting in there where you choose how many times they can see it or, or you you set like a limit. We'll go into that part, but you can, you can set a limit on how many times how many impressions, how many times an individual, how many, how many times you're, you, you want, you want them to see it. Oh shit. So I would let that bad boy just run because at the same time, it's a smaller audience. So it's not like Facebook, even if you set 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, whatever, Facebook is not even going to spend all that because it's not the biggest audience. It's a, it's retargeting a custom audience. So if the budget doesn't even spend it all day, then it doesn't spend it, which is a good thing. So you don't have to worry about over budgeting for a retargeting traffic ad to an audience like that. So I would let that thing just run. I'd let that shit run freaking all month. Like let that shit run. Whoever lands in that audience, they're going to keep seeing my damn ad until they purchase. And when they purchase, then they land on the thank you for purchasing. And then I, and then we're the way we're setting it up is that thank you for purchase visitor is excluded from any of these future ads. So that, that, that way people don't continue to see the ad if they end up purchasing. So every time they're on Facebook, bro, they're going to see the damn, the damn discount code. So with that, all right, so this is, this is one of the mentorships one I ran. I collected 64,000 people with that. I can now set another ad saying, hey, I saw you guys, whatever, yep. L looked yep. at this. We are running a special 24-hour discount yeah. by now. Heck Boom. Yeah. Now it's only going to hit these 64,000. Yep. For sure. For sure. And, and again, you can set how many times per day they're hit. They see it. They see the ad, yeah. but um, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then again, even if Facebook doesn't get to all of them, like Facebook won't spend all that money. So they only spend, a, they only spend that full daily budget. If the, if the audience is fully, fully there with 64,000, that's a lot of people. So that's a good audience to hit for sure, bro. For sure, for sure. So we were at, which one were we on? We were on website visitors only. So let, let's go back into that real quick. Just actually, well, yeah, you can hover it over. You can just hover over like that. People who visited. Yeah, let's look at it real quick. Well, this is the okay, one we so, just created. Yeah, that's the one we just created. Okay. So the rules include people who visited that URL. And then we exclude anyone who visits, scroll down. We exclude, we excluded anyone who visited. There should be three links right below. I don't see what, I don't see below Brandon Cruz's pixel. Is there anything below that? Yeah, there we go. Keep going. Uh, yeah, I'm, they were there. It wasn't scrolling down. One, two, three. Click on edit. Click on it. Click on edit. Let's go back into it. Oh, there we, there we are. Perfect. No, perfect. they're there. I, okay, the they're, there. they're there. Down. Okay, good. Good. So this is website visited only. Now you're going to create the other audiences, um, add to cart. 
and then you also put in there exclude yeah, people who land on the sales page. Yeah. You know? You want me to do it? Yeah, you can do it right now. Okay. So we're going to go. Not that one. We're going to go this one. So this is the, this is the add to cart. Now there's the add to cart. To purchasing. So this will be named. Yeah, ATC. Perfect. Okay. So and then, that. and then exclude anyone who lands on the thank you for purchasing. And this, and this one too, right? No, no. It's just, well, oh, actually, what actually is that the page from your no no it's only it's only the thank you for purchasing page we're excluding only the thank you for purchasing oh so we don't want to exclude the people who landed on the page okay I, I i thought you were saying so we want to do this one yeah exclude these these people gotcha Actually, no, I, I know what you're saying. You're, you, were you saying- I, I thought you wanted to like get ultra specific. Like yeah, we're you running can do that. You can do that. that want to add to cart. Yeah. You can do that. You could do that. So, so well, you're saying- okay, Well, exclude, what do you recommend? You're saying exclude the people who land on the landing page. Yeah, because they're not yeah, as yeah, yeah, serious yeah. as the people do who that. went to the, yeah. the, the cart. Yeah, okay. do that. Do that. Do that. So like, let's, let's say this is like warm traffic and the other one's like hot traffic. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. So again, people in this audience, it would be, it's going to be less than people who landed on the landing page. Correct. Right? Correct. So that's why this retargeting ad should be running at all times. At all times. Okay. Because we're not, we're never even spending as near. Yeah, near because Facebook's not even going to spend that full budget. Gotcha. They won't even spend the full budget. Okay, perfect. So add to cart. So that that's a good audience right there. Um, and then yeah, and then do the last one for for the um, for for purchase. So while we what are we doing this one for? So people who have purchased it. Yeah, people who purchased the whole. Why would I want to run them an ad? No, you. That, it's actually the opposite. You don't want to run them an ad. So. This is so you can now start to exclude them from seeing ads. But aren't so, they already excluded in the other one, the uh, other two? No, they haven't been. They, well, if you're running ads to those specific audiences, yes. But this is going to be an, another audience that you simply exclude. So in that ad set, as you included all those other ones that, I, that you showed me earlier, you're, yeah. you're going you're gonna to always for sure exclude this specific one. So, so I'm this, not even it, putting anything in the top one then. Um, no, no, yeah, no, it is, it is. It's, it, it's not down there, it's at the top. So you don't do it here, you don't exclude it here. You, you add it there, this is, and then you X out that exclude, X, X out that bottom one, and then just name this one MTM customers or MTM clients. This is, this is people who landed on the thank you for purchasing page. These are customers. So this is a, an audience that you will always exclude in your setup, in your ad set setup. I got you. Okay. These are people that don't need to ever see another ad. What, or, if, I want, what if I wanted to upcharge them? Exactly. That's how I was getting ready to say. Or if you want to run a completely different program and say, hey, man, we're reaching out to all of our existing customers. We're running something super special this month. Yeah, for sure. That's a specific ad to your customers. You could do it that way too, for sure. Gotcha. So, so now, now let's go to, so now we're set up. We got custom audiences. We got custom conversions. Now, actually, you know what? Yeah, they're all ready, ready. Scroll down. Is everything ready? Everything green, 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 all the greens. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. I'm going to go delete some of these old ones. They're just using Yeah, you could delete. Yeah, you clean it out for sure, for sure. Yeah. So now let's click on the dots in the top left, click on the dots, click on ad manager. And let's just go through a sample. Just, just real quick, hit the green create. Can I edit this? Like redo this? It should be there. It should be there. It. 
Did I just delete this then? Yeah, you could delete it for sure. I just, I just, this kind of started today, but I mean, based upon we just said it. it Turn was, it off. Hit, hit, yeah, you can. And, and that's another thing, man. When you get, when you, when you set one live, like, especially if it goes live, try not to mess with it ever again. Like if you forgot to do something, turn the damn thing off and start over. Like don't off, edit. Delete it. Don't try and switch yeah. Don't it try to it. switch it out. Don't try to edit it. Don't don't try to add something. Like no. Like that'll throw everything off. Okay. So, so I'll go and delete that then. Yeah, delete that. Um, so now go conversions, and then what you're gonna want to do is is go ahead and hit the hit the continue. What you want to start doing too, bro? Here here's just next level shit. Like you want to start doing it this way for sure. Um, the campaign budget optimization. This is where you want to start headed. Like you want to go in this direction. That gray needs to be blue and you need to set your budget right here. Yeah. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to create multiple ad sets. So for example, Right now, you're probably targeting multiple keywords, maybe even multiple cities. But if you're not targeting multiple cities, then let's say you're targeting New Jersey, you're targeting just that area. Okay, then most likely, I'm just assuming, I'm willing to bet, you probably put in more than one keyword in the targeting, right? Yeah, so for this one, wouldn't be as specific because this one, I actually, I could go like worldwide with this, um, you know, okay. PTs and, Australia or New Zealand okay, okay. Okay. California for this one. I do have courses that are more specific where I need to hit North Jersey, South Jersey, all of New Jersey, okay. New Jersey and New York. So, so, so here's what I'm saying. The budget is set here. And, 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 and as you go into the ad set, each one is going to be separate. So if you have multiple cities, that's a separate ad set, not a separate ad, a separate ad set. If that's you have, the second one. that's the second one. We'll get there. If you okay. have different interest targeting, so the demographics, let's say you're targeting people who follow and, 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 and good targeting is actually targeting competitors or targeting brands, not exactly an interest, someone that loves to work out. Not, not really that. It's actually targeting the competitor. So who's the biggest name in the industry? That's a good targeting. Or what's the biggest brand in the industry? That's a good targeting. What if they don't pop up? Because I know you use that Pet Smart or Pet Shop, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to do something like that if they don't pop up on the area. Yeah, Maybe if I they don't pop up, then, then try something different. But if it's a big enough brand, it should pop up. And I've seen some that were huge brands and they didn't pop up. So then you'll have to get creative and, and think of a different, a different keyword, but. All right. Question. If this would only work, if somebody has a pixel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if I went onto somebody else's website, like you're saying the biggest person, right? Mm -hmm. And they have a pixel on it. I see it lights up. Can I take their, their URL and just make a custom audience off of somebody else's no, Shit, like no, but, but if they're, if they're big, that's what I'm saying. They're, you type in that name and the targeting there, they should pop up if they're really that big. What if they're just big for the area, but not the, not, not nationally, but just the area. Like we have competitors that are in here or actually let's talk about this. So this one, th this business is, is a different business of mine. It's not my main one yet. And it's more education. So there are bigger ones that are nationally, but they're, you know, they do targeted ads like this and stuff like that. So if we're targeting the same people, which is just PTs across America, mm -hmm. would I be able to just go onto the website, pop their URL and create a custom audience off of it? No, you, okay. no, you wouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to do that because that URL doesn't fit your pixel. That pixel, that URL has to be around your pixel. Okay. I was, I yeah. was wondering, like, <laughs> you, you just make custom audiences based off of other people's shit. Yeah. But what you can do is you can, you can target that person's Facebook business page. So if they're really that big, they should have a big following on Facebook. And if they don't, then that's not really your targeting. Okay. Um, I get what you're saying. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so, but, but, but we'll get there. That's the next step right here. Campaign budget optimization, your, your, your budget set it here set it here, whether it's daily or lifetime. Um, 
And that, and those are two different types of ads you may want to play with. Run one ad with daily budget, run one ad with lifetime budget. Mm -hmm. And, and, and after a few days, give it about, give it about, give it about five days after five days, see which one pops. And then, and then just shut off the other one because sometimes lifetime budget is better and it's the same dollar amount. It says, now if you're running two different ads then you're obviously going to be spending double, but you're not going to be spending double the full duration because you're about to shut it off. You only give it a few days. Correct. But, but, but sometimes daily budget is, is good. And then I've also seen lifetime budget. So if I'm going 20 bucks a day and I'm going for, let's just call it seven days. Okay. 20 bucks. There's 140. I'd rather just change it to lifetime budget put in 140 and then set the calendar for seven days. That way I give Facebook flexible flexibility daily. I don't cap Facebook. You're capping Facebook. You're capping them and only giving them 20 bucks a day when sometimes that ad could be, could be performing very, very well. And they could have spent 27 bucks a day on that day, but you, you know, capped it at 20. So it ends up being the same dollar amount again. Um, yeah. I would just go that lifetime budget 150 and, and, and let that, let that ride, let that ride. So, so that's, that's CBO. That's how you should be setting up right there. Now go to the next step next hit next on the blue button. So now here, here's where we go to the actual, what we just got done doing the, the custom audiences and the custom conversion. So yeah. At, and, and here's the thing, the ad set name. Yeah. Retargeting the 10, 14, 30. That's cool. What, whatever is going to, you know, allow you to remember what, what ad set this is. Like only um, I see this one, right? Yeah, only you see that. Um, so that's good. Um, but now what I'm telling you, now we're in the ad set. So right. not only are we going to choose that conversion, so scroll down, actually look look for that pixel. That pixel should be right there as well. There's the, okay, perfect. So make sure you get that pixel. And then the conversion event. There is our custom conversion. So now we're very specific. And what I'm about to show you is how to, how to see that in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the analytics and how to see that in the, in the column on the dashboard. I'm going to help you customize the dashboard so we can only see MTM purchase and mm -hmm. um, MTM add to cart. So we'll be able to track those numbers and we'll be able to look at those numbers just from the dashboard. Okay. Okay. We and couldn't gonna, do that before. Do both of these purchase. No, no, you're going to do one at a time. You're going to do okay. one at a time and yeah, it's really okay. purchase. I want to, I'm, 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 I'm optimizing for purchase. That's really the, the, the biggest one. Um, the, the most important one. Okay. So now, right. now here goes our start and end date. So just like we set that, that CBO 150, there's the start and end date and, and run it for, you can, you can do it, you know, however long you want, seven days, 14 days, whatever. But, um, you want it to be at least in your case, bro. Like I'd go at least minimum 10 bucks a day. Like you want to start up at least 10 bucks a day. So if that's 150 lifetime, then that's a 15 day run, you know? Why does we do this? Um, there we go. So that's, that's a week, seven or eight days, seven perfect. and a half days. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, good. So now right here, custom audiences. So you have a ton of them and you can, you can add whichever ones you know are relevant. I don't know which other ones are relevant, but for sure the website visitors only that's an audience you're going to always retarget. So let's just use, let's just do a, a quick run, a quick example real quick. That one right there, you'll always re retarget always, always, always. And then, um, and then you can always retarget add to cart as well, even though this is going to be a more general ad and it's just to get people in the beginning, I could still retarget my add to cart, but, but again, that add to cart is very, very specific where in the future you want to maybe talk to just them. So add to just them, you know? So in the previous one, the, the previous one I made this one, which is 64,000, this was all run to that add to cart pay. Well, what we now made add mm -hmm. to cart. So mm -hmm. I can, I can make multiple here or only do one at a time. No, you could do multiple here for sure. Yeah. You could do multiple here for sure. Um, So with this, I have, I have courses too. So if somebody who's interested in one of my courses would be interested in, in this part too, mm -hmm. I can, I can loop that in too. Yep. We're, yep. we're okay with that, right? Yep. Okay. For sure. So that's where my mind was in terms of making these custom audiences. Okay. I had, mm -hmm. you know, 6,900 people 
mm -hmm. interested in this and click on my page or view it, mm -hmm. let me retarget them with a different product I have as well. So that's kind of where I was. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And, and as long as I always tell people, as long as those products are aligned, then shit, retarget all of them. Like, yeah, you know, and in your case, it's all fitness. So it's like, I talked to some people where they're affiliate marketers and they're offering different types of products. It's like, dude, no, if I land on your page and it was about freaking nutrition, don't run me an ad tomorrow just because I was in your audience. Don't run me an ad tomorrow selling me some freaking shoes, right? Like it doesn't even make sense. So as long as these audience are all relevant, then yeah, for sure, for sure. Retarget them with what you're offering. So the exclude, the exclude will always be customers. So yeah, you can, you can add as many of those in, in the include spot, but, um, but again, what you'll do is, is click out and then hit that exclude. That will always be customers. So MTM customers right there. Perfect. Okay. So, and, and depending on these audiences, man, depending on how big these audiences are, a lot of the times you don't even have to worry about the location, the age, the gender, or the detailed targeting. Because if those audiences are big enough, that's where Facebook's spending the money. Facebook's just retargeting those audiences. Which well, I already know my, my niche is from 23 to, to probably, you know, 40 years old, yeah. maybe even a little younger. So can I just, knowing yeah. that, exclude that shit and just really narrow that down? You, you, you What do you mean exclude? Like... People under 23, they're not licensed. So, okay, yeah, know, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I know gotcha, they're, gotcha. you know, that's going to be a waste of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People but, in my profession over 40 are, you yeah. know, they're doing whatever. They're not going to be the ones interested. So, yeah. this is my niche right here. Yeah, that's your niche if you didn't have all those audiences in. But as I'm saying, if those audiences are big enough, Facebook is just focused on those audiences and not even looking for other people. All right, but in the past, I've always set these parameters, 23 to 35, okay, 23 okay. to 40. So if, if it worked, then, then continue to do the same thing. Continue well, to do well, the same thing. Well, I'm asking. So if, if in the past, you know, with, uh, let's say, course retarget MTM 623, I had run the ad, I had set age 23 to, to, to 40, then most likely pretty much everyone who clicked on that should be between that range or mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. is it going to still yeah. have people that are outside that? No, no. Go ahead and put the age, put the age. That's fine. Just to double, just to, just to ensure that, that it's, it's the right age. Like, yeah, you you could go ahead and put that, but it's not really necessary. It's not necessary okay. at all. It's not all necessary right. at all. Fair enough. Again, depending on how big those audiences are, if those audiences yeah. are big enough, then that doesn't matter. Okay. But if those audiences are not that big, then yeah, continue with, 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 with breaking it down even further. So what's considered big versus not a thousand well, or a more thousand? in that. Yeah. A thousand or more in that audience is big. Okay. Yeah. Con yeah. Minimum a thousand. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Um, so that's that leave it on automatic, leave it on automatic. We used to teach edit but, but it's, it's automatic, leave it on automatic because Facebook knows where to place that ad and they're not going to, they're only going to place it on the, on the platforms that are, that are, that are performing. So let them find that, that, that placement for you. Okay. Okay. So, so that's that. So now hit next. And then now here's the, the, the last, the last step, just put anything for right now, like put any image, put any video because what I want to show you is, is after we publish. I know which one I'll use. It's all. This was actually like my retarget video. Like I ran my first video, which was this guy. Mm -hmm. I created all that data, 6,400, 6,600, uh, and I'm going to retarget them with this video. Okay. Does that, does for, that make sense? Yeah, I, that, that my, does. Mine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. So did you yeah. put, did you put all, did you include all of the custom audiences in, in that include section? Were those all your audiences or, or there did were you probably not? a couple more, but those are the big ones. Those are the, the meat and potato. I mean, I could go back and add a couple more, which would be, you know, a couple more thousand or whatever, but. Okay. Because that's what multiple ad sets are all about. So let's hit, let's hit, go ahead and put the URL in there, put the landing page URL. So 
when you bunch, yeah, let's just add this real quick and then, and then hit publish and then I'll explain it. So I, I had another question too, to make sure my, my pixels were correct. Cause I know you said with the update, you don't need like the view content or some other crap. Does that make sense? Well, well, the view content was, was the conversion event. We put our own conversion event in there, but, but yeah, you want to for sure make sure your pixel is, is the right one, but you'll see it right here. So scroll down the default. So this is the default offline set for Dr. Cruz. That's, that's the no, ID. No, this is fine. My, my question yeah. was on, um, uh, not this page. We're going to have my actual card show, like login. Yeah, here we go. So sorry to uh, take you like five different ways here. No, it's all good. So if we go here, this page. So this was the old thing, but do I need to redo this or, or is this fine? Okay, so you have, let's see, click, click, and then just, just go up a little bit. Yeah, click right there and then just, okay, so you have, no, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, did this you? This was the one I think, you, you helped me set this up back in, um, And we know, put a standard event like in there, right? June or May or something. Yeah, let's 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 put let's let's do the pixel again and not include the standard event. So let's just delete that and let's paste standard in standard event. The standard what event is, is when you chose what it was. Was it, it was a page view? So let's just delete the whole thing and let's just paste in because I can tell it's that bottom section which is what we don't need. So let's just do it. Just do it again. Delete so it delete and let's that. go to the as manager and paste in the the pixel again. So, so hit the dots to the left. Actually, you know what? Real quick, real quick on this. Put the you already put the landing page. Yeah, just hit hit publish on this one. Let's just get this one published real quick. All right. Uh, you you said I could pick how many times I want someone to retarget. Yeah, but yeah, we'll get to that part. But that that's not what I want to show you real quick. Just hit publish. But we can always okay. go back to that part. Hit publish right. so this can go in. Yep. And then and then hit the dots the the, the dots in the top left. But let's go to um. Um. Shit. Where were we at? We were going to. Get the pixel and put it in the page. Yeah, so hit events manager. Hit the dots and then events manager. And then you'll see it right here. So click on add events. Where is that? Right there um, down below the graph. You see add events. Oh, right yeah. And then um, from a new website. And then install code manually. And then click the green one. Copy code. Okay, so now it's copied, so take it to the page and just paste it. What's all this continue, enable, advance, add event code? I don't that's if you want to add different event codes, and that's what was added before, but it's, it's, not, it's not needed because we have our own. The pixel is all that's needed, and now we have our own custom conversions. We set up our own code, which is the custom conversion. So, gotcha. And then so, yeah, so that's saved. That's good. Um, and if anything, maybe do that on all your pages. Just put yeah. that pixel. Yeah, I'm going to go back and do that. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so, so here's what, here's what, here's what we just did. And, and so here's what you can, you can hit, you can exit out of that. And then um, hit the, yeah, hit that and then go to, go back to the actual ad, go to ads manager. Okay. So here's, here's what, here's what, what multiple ad sets are. What you just set up is you included all of these audiences. Now, as you run that, you're not going to really know which audience is the one that the sale came from. So what multiple ad sets are is when you separate all of them. You're either going to separate all of them, and if you have 10 of them, then shit. That's, that, you, don't, you don't really need, you don't want to put all those 10, you don't want to separate all those 10. Just go with four. It could be, it could be, and this is just how you split test. This is, this is the definition of split testing. We have to split test these audiences because we don't know which one's going to pop. So an, a multiple ad set is when you click, go ahead and go ahead and check, go ahead and 
check the box, check the box uh, to the left of the, yeah, click and then click on the middle tab. Oh, Facebook's loading here. Yeah, we'll check the box and then we'll click on the middle tab, which is ad sets. And then um, you can either do it where you're splitting all of the audiences or you can do it where you're splitting the targeted interest groups. So in this case, okay, put, put perfect example. This right here is going to be retargeting. Okay. This is going to be retargeting. We're retargeting all of our custom audiences, but what we're going to do actually go back X out of this. I, yeah. We're not going to open it up X out of this. So now, now what you're going to do. So here, so let me explain this. Let me explain. We're in the second tab. We're in the ad set. We have the, we have the CBO at 150, right? We have it for seven days. What right. we want to do is we want to split test. We want to, we want to give Facebook more options. We want to give them more targeting options. So for example, one ad set is going to be this one. Let's just leave that one. All those, all those audiences are freaking bunched up. They're all being retargeted. Leave that. Based on that same 150 budget, we want to create three other audiences and, and, and those will be completely cold audiences. So now we got 150 being spent across four different variations. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So here's what you do. You click duplicate. So right there, you duplicate and you turn that one to three. And then duplicate. So now do do anything with this. You leave that, leave that as is. Leave that, leave that, leave that, leave that. Just hit the blue one, duplicate. Okay. So now we're taking the same 150, but we're going to, we're going to throw it across four different variations. All we're going to do in this second one. So this is go to the very top. It should say copy. Yeah, there, this is okay. So now you got three copies. Okay. So now you want to, you got it. You got to really make sure we know which one we're in. We're in, we're in this copy. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to delete that copy and we're going to target one keyword. So again, whether it's a competitor, whether it's a big brand, whether it's an interest fitness or whatever, but it's one, it's one keyword or whether we're going to target a specific city with that keyword. So all this is, all this is, is taking that 150 and giving it multiple variations, giving Facebook multiple variations to work with rather than just one, which are all these custom audiences. Because after a few days, you're going to see which one pops. Maybe the keyword of targeting the big brand is popping more than these other three. Facebook ends up putting all that 150 into the, into that one. Rather than, rather than trying to spend it all on this, on this one, when that one's not performing. So, so let's, if we want to target a big brand, right? Yeah. So all you're doing in here is you're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And all this right here, you're taking out all that. You're taking out all of that. You're taking out all that except for the exclude. We're going to always exclude customers. Okay. Always exclude, exclude them. Down, we're going to, okay, so if you're keeping it United States, keep it, keep it, keep it United States. But all we're going to change is the targeting, the, the interest. So that detail targeting right up, up, the detail targeting, that right there, okay. hit edit, that's where a keyword goes. One keyword. So there's another company that does something similar to what I do. They're in like out West, but so they're not, they're not that company. big. They're not, they might be big, but they're not that big. If and he doesn't. does a lot of sponsored ads and stuff like that. Yeah. Rather than if they're not nationwide or global, then it, it most likely won't populate. So try to go, try to go, try to go more broad. Um, so should I just type in my profession? Yeah, you could yeah, try that physical therapy. But you're not looking for job titles, you're looking for interest. So that's a good one right there. Physical therapy well, interest. Why would I want interest? Because I could have 
you know, let's say you hurt your back and you clicked on Facebook that you're interested in physical therapy. You're not yep. my target. I need the physical therapist whose their job is physical therapy. Oh, you're looking for freaking the damn physical therapist? On this, uh, for this one, yes. Okay, well then shit. Yeah, I didn't my know that. My other business, my main one, which I have a clinic, yeah, I, I'm looking okay. for patients. Okay, gotcha, and gotcha, gotcha. Different. Yeah, for sure. Okay. This one. Then in that case, go with, go with job title. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I saw. Sure. And that's, that's what I've done in the past too. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for okay. sure. But the point is, it's one. It's Just one. one. Okay. It's one. Right. And then we're going to go to the second one. Actually, you can go to hit publish. You can hit publish. So that's all we're changing. That's no, all we're changing. Cha okay. That's yes. all we're changing. So go ahead and hit publish. Yeah, up there. Yeah, put it up there for sure. You want to label it up there for sure in the title. And then, and then go ahead and hit publish. Oh, it's publishing all of them though. No, it, it, it's fine. It's fine. What, and then let's just go down to the, the next ad set. So, so that's that one. Go down to the next one, which would be, I think it'd be the sec below that. Or what, yeah, click on, click on, whichever one says copy, whichever one says copy, because we got two more copies. Well, they all say PT now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, what we can do is we'll just, we know which one we changed. So it's the second one is PT. The third one is the one we need to change. So it's this guy. Yeah, so it'd be, it'd be that one. So now when you go down, choose a different targeting, and then list it there as well on the title, and that would be your third targeting. And then you do it again for the fourth one. That's so I don't know if I need this then because unless – like this one's pretty specific as it is. It's your physical therapist. So unless what you're saying, do this by location, the second one? You could do it by location. So one, one, you're targeting US. Do a different one where you're targeting only a handful of states. Do a different one where you're targeting only one state. That's split testing. Okay, so we did, why does it keep going back to this top one? We want this one. All right, whatever, they kept that there. Yeah, it might be that, that um, why are there four of these? These are the ad sets, the one with the four triangles, right? Yeah, that should be the ad set, yeah. So why are there four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four. Because we had the original one, and then you turned, you duplicated three. So now you have four. Uh, so I, I, I thought the original one wasn't popping in. Yeah, the original one's at the very top. That should be the original one. Oh, uh, shit. So that one got, I deleted that one then. Okay, so when we hit publish, that's I just learned something right now too. My bad, bro. When you oh, hit good. publish, it publishes everything. So we had to go each one first, and then we publish last. So if I can do original, I'll just retarget all these. That's not a big deal. So we want one. We're gonna do location U.S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm exclude okay fine that's that and then oh no it still went why does it push it down does it just push it down all right whatever all right there we go that's that there we go and then location okay perfect and then so yeah then choose choose a different this has to be deleted. Yep. Perfect. So now you have, okay, this is a third one, right? Not the fourth one? Or, is, is, it, or is this? Technically the fourth one, because we have, it should be original. Okay. That should be the, well, US. Original, Australia. Australia, and then PT. Perfect. That's four. Perfect. Perfect. So then, did you did you hit Australia? Did that go through? Uh, Let's see. Go back to. Australia. Okay, so, so okay, so now you can hit publish. Now you can hit publish. Now all of them 
will publish and then you X out in the top left. And now you'll see everything right here. PT original US Australia. That's multiple ad sets, bro. That's when you really start to start to see numbers and really start to see which, which one's showing the ROI, which one's giving you the ROI and which one's not. But at least you're, but, and it's all based on the same budget. So that's why I'd rather run it to four different variations and run 150 to one variation. I'm just giving, I'm leveraging Facebook even four, I'm lever I'm four times Xing the leverage of Facebook off of the same dollar amount. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, now that right there is multiple ad sets. What you can also do, which you don't got to do it right now, but it's just future knowledge. What, what the other form of split testing is, is when you, is when you, um, um, create four different ads. So, so when you go to the ad, the third tab, click on that third tab right here, you have a video. Now, if I check the box and hit duplicate, I can also duplicate that three times, but it's either, or it's either, or it's not really both. It's either, or we're, we're choosing four different variations on the targeting to this one video off of that one, one fifty. Yeah. If I wanted to split test again, I would, I would, I would maybe pop, pro, uh, I would, I could, I could for sure keep those same ad sets or maybe even do one ad set, but four different images or maybe four different videos. Yeah. Right. So that's when you go into, into major split testing to see really where your ROI is at. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just let this one ride, let that one ride and, and, and let that, yeah, that, that's a good one right there. Um, now here's what you want to do. Here's the last thing. X out of the blue, one selected, one selected, one selected. Let's X out of all that. And then let's create a, a, a custom column. And then this is what I'll leave you with. Unless you have any other questions. Okay. Custom okay. Column, yeah. So now let's go to, um, click on the first tab, the campaigns tab, mm -hmm. click on that. And then click on uh, columns performance right there towards the middle columns performance and then scroll down to customize columns. Okay, now here's what you can do. To the very, very right, there's, there's, um, there's, there's settings that you don't need, man. Like, like for example, last significant edit, take that out. Um, what did you say? Oh, this one. Last significant edit, take that out. Um, um, Cost per result, take that out because we're going to add our own cost per result. Quality ranking, I don't really care about that. Engagement rate ranking, exit out. Um, conversion rate ranking, you can X that out. Um, frequency, X that out. Um, link clicks, I don't really care about link clicks, man. I'm not really, it's not, I don't really care about looking at that metric. What all I care about are two things how many leads came in and what was the cost per lead, or how many sales came in and what was the cost per sale. That's really the only two damn metrics, man. Um, all this other stuff really isn't necessary. So you can take away, take away, unless you really want it. Um, unique clicks, take that out. Unique clicks. You don't need that one. Um, cost per landing page view. I guess you can leave that. Um, reach. You don't need it. Reach. Take out results. We're going to add our own. Take out results. Um, bid strategy. Take that out. Everything. This is all conversions. So we don't, I don't care about that. Okay. Per, I guess you can go ahead and leave the rest. Now click on custom conversions to the left. To the very left, custom conversions. Right there, custom, down, custom okay. convert, yeah. Okay, so now those are our two custom conversions. So we have purchase and we have add to cart. So check that box total. You're gonna go total, total, and then also go um, cost. Click on those two boxes, cost, cost. Okay. And then, and then go to the very, very bottom left, set, save as preset and just give it a name. Save as preset, bottom left right there, save as preset. There we go. Check that box and then give it a name. Uh, what are we? MTM campaign. Okay, cool. And then, and then apply. Those are the two most important metrics, man. So, so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on, so scroll, scroll up real quick. Yeah. You're at the very top. Click on, click on ad set. 
click on ads. I think it's more to the very, very right. So click, go, go back to the campaigns tab and then just scroll to the very right. Click on, and then just take that bar. So there, there they are right there. So in fact, you know what, go back to, go back to custom columns. That's what I, I didn't have you do. Go back to custom columns, go back to that um, one MTM campaign, click on that. You might have to, you might have to do it again. All I was going to have you do was just, all we had to do is rearrange it. We're not going to be, I mean, you can easily do it again. If you go customize columns, let's just do it again. Let's do it again. Well, we can get rid of that one. Exit out of that one. Yeah, exit out. Let's just do it again real quick. It'll take one second. Because all we had to do is we had to freaking shift with the freaking um, shift them. That way they show here and we don't, we don't have to scroll. So so let's, yeah, get get rid of that one. Get rid, yeah, get rid of all those. But even, even if you leave them, I mean, shit, whatever. But I just want those other two to show. So these are here. These are here. Cost. For okay, they're they're already there. So go ahead and take 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 the MTM click and drag it up. So the add to cart and the purchase. Yeah, drag them drag them as high as you want, really. Right there. Yeah, drop it below campaign name. Perfect, perfect. So you got purchase, and then you got you got add to cart, and then um. What are these other two? Do yeah, it. you got cost per. Yeah, per perfect. So it's purchase. How many purchases do we have? And what was the cost per purchase? Right? Okay. How many? How many add to cart? And what was the what was the cost per add to cart? So click. So go ahead and save as preset, and and give it maybe give it a different name. Or actually, I don't think that other one saved. You exited out. So go ahead and name it. Perfect. Apply. Perfect. There they are. There now. So now now you come to your dashboard and boom. Those are the only two damn metrics that I care about, man. How many purchases do I have? And what was the cost per purchase? Gotcha. So there it is there, bro. That's kind of all I have for you. Awesome. Um, oh, and then just uh, you said you could set up how many times people will see it. Go into the ad set, check, check the box, and go into the ad set. Okay. So you want me to go to edit? Yeah, click on edit. Yeah. And it should be down here in, in the um, settings. So scroll down audience there's audience there's that there's that and then scroll down go ahead and click on show more options right there it's either the top one or the bottom one show more options okay so in stream video block list live stream in stream click on optimization and add delivery click on that one click on the edit real quick yeah that one click on edit i think that's just for conversions that actually that's not that one um right Right here, when you when you get charged, click on. See, it's one of these. Click on edit. Actually, this is only available. This is the only available option. Click on that drop down seven days. Click one day. It's not that one, but let me see if anything is in there. Yeah, leave it at leave that as is. Um, scroll up. It would. It, it was normally. It, it used to be right here. Um, no, it wouldn't be up. It'd be down. It would. It, it was normally right here in the in this setting. Let's see, scroll back up, right right here. Okay, brand safety inventory, in-stream video, audience network standard. Can you edit any of these inventory filter? Can you, is there anything to the, yeah. Okay, click on edit next to the in inventory filter. See if that one's it. Okay, so exclude sensitive, full inventory, include content suitable. Okay, limited inventory. Okay, so it's not that. It was one of these damn options, dude. Um, in stream exclusion, it's not that one. In stream, it's not that one. It used to be right here, dude. It used to be right here, and I don't see it. But it's just when you're retargeting a small audience and you want to just drill in a promotion and you want to keep, you want to have them to keep see that ad over and over and over multiple times per day. That's when it makes the most sense. But in this case, it doesn't even make sense. Let, let, let Facebook run it how they run it. Gotcha. Awesome, man. This was extremely helpful. Um, yes, you let bro. me know when that your, um, your course comes out, man. I think that's going to be like a game changer or I don't know if you have something else that's already done or not, but it's really, it's really all of this stuff, dude. So I kind of gave you, a, I kind of gave it all to you, dude. So now the, this the, is refining it and refining it. Yeah. Now, now it's just, it's just, 
making sure that that pixel is grabbing as much data as possible, creating the custom audiences and retargeting. Now it's just content. From this point on, bro, it's content. It's putting out these videos as if it was going out of style. It's yeah. content. All right. It's content. You got to keep putting out content. Um, and, and again, that's where, that's where this third step, the ad, multiple ads, that's where that comes in handy, is now running, running it against four different videos versus one or running it against four different images instead of one. And then as you create these custom audiences around people who are buying or, and people who are adding to cart, then you create lookalike audiences and, and, and now you leverage Facebook. Now you yeah. don't have to put in any of this shit. You just retarget your lookalike audience and Facebook has millions of people in that lookalike audience already who look like your custom audience who are people who actually purchased. That's when you're off to the races. That's when you really scale is when you're retargeting lookalike audiences. It's all in the lookalike audiences, but you got to get there first. You got to build the custom audiences and you got to, you got to leverage that pixel. So yeah. just keep doing what you're doing, bro. And, and just keep me post, keep me posted on this damn campaign. Let me know how this one goes and, and, and you'll see it after. Give it, give it a good, give it a good shit. Let it run. Let it run, bro. It's 150. That ain't shit. Let it run. Let it run the seven days and then analyze the data. Yeah. You'll see which ad you'll, you'll go into watch. Let's X out of this, go to the top left X out. You'll look at the, at the, at the, at the custom column and you'll see, watch, click on the middle one, the ad set. That's where you're looking at. So, so you're looking at right here, the cost per MT purchase, the MT add to cart, the MTM purchase. You're looking at these. So on the ad set level, because this is going to show you which ones are popping. But because you put the budget at the campaign, you, you set the budget in the campaign level, the CBO, Facebook automatically is, go, is gonna just put that money towards the highest one anyways. Before, you used to have to micromanage it and, and look at this and be like, okay, damn, that one's not performing, shut it off. That one's not performing, shut it off. But because the CBO, that leverage of, of letting Facebook do it, they're gonna pour all that money on the winning one and you'll just look at the numbers and see which one that is. And they're not even going to pour money at the other ones. But at the same time, you'll shut off the other ones, you know, shut off the other ones just for the hell of it. But Facebook should pour all that money in the highest one anyways. And you'll just yeah. be able to see those numbers right here reflect. Awesome. Okay, Great so keep me posted. Keep me posted on this one, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, a ton of different audiences. So yeah, keep me posted, man. I'm excited for you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for all your help, man. All right, um, Murph's going to reach out to you uh, or John's going to reach out to you next oh, week. For sure, man. Anytime, uh, bro. Anytime. Anyone else, I'm following your way. Um, and just keep me posted on, on the stuff you're doing, man. You're yes, doing sir, bro. Stuff. I sure will, man. I and, appreciate uh, you, bro. Uh, thank you for recording that because was, that yes, was sir. actually way more detailed than I thought it was even going to be. So that I'm glad to have that. Video I'll have it up. Me. I'll have it up first thing tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, sounds good, brother. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Right. Have a good night. Late.